All right, here I am with my Texas Instruments MSP430 launch pad. And I have my stopwatch right here. And this is my speed trap gizmo that's going to display our speed of our locomotive as it comes through the trap. So to start it, since I don't have infrared detector emitter pairs, I'm going to push reset and hold the button down. And our green light means that we're ready to start counting. So when I release this, I'll start my stopwatch and get a number of seconds because I'll, when I push the button back in, it will stop counting and start displaying. And you'll see the digits flash on the red LED with a green indicator in between each digit. And a zero will be indicated by a very long red flash. So here we go. And that's three seconds. Three seconds. Point three one. So I missed the first count. But there'll be a it'll repeat it three times. So here's the second count coming. Long flash, so that's the first digits of zero. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. So 34 miles an hour. Let me go to the spreadsheet and figure out if that's right. Okay, so here we are at the spreadsheet where I've got all my times figured out. I punched in the 3.31 seconds that we recorded at our trap, and this is for a 12 inch timing gate, is what I have the constant set up for for testing purposes. And down here you can tell it's 32.9 whatever, so we're accurate to within a mile per hour. And this is what we reported with our flashes. So it works. And uh, I got to get some infrared detector emitter pairs, and we'll get the rest of that switches, the the switching for the gates, put in there, and it should be functional.